हेलो हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो आई होप यू एंजॉय द सीरीज एंड इन दिस इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर विल बी सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम कंपनी क्वेरीज टू सो अगेन आई एम सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम्स बट लाइक द आइडिया इज नॉट टू जस्ट वॉच मी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स बट ट्राई प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन योर ओन राइट सो लर्नस वेन यू लर्न सम एलगोरिदम यू नीड टू सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन सो दैट यू understand the application of that uh, that uh, algorithm right because tweaking the algorithm changing the algorithm according to like what the problem demands is the problem solving skill okay and that you learn while solving random problems of the algorithm and facing problems in contest and then only in you you can assess your skill in that particular topic so make sure to solve the problems on the algorithm which you are learning and that will only help you so let's solve this problem company queries and in this problem again this is the second part of the problem which we have solved in the previous video we have a company which has n employees and which forms a tree hierarchy each employee has a boss except for the general director which is at the top of the hierarchy and it doesn't have any boss basically the root of the tree now we want to process queue queries of the form who is the lowest common boss of employees a and b in the hierarchy so basically we are given a tree and we are given queue queries and for every query we are given two nodes and we need to find the lowest common boss or which is also called the lowest common ancestor of these two employees in the hierarchy so let's just uh, try to understand the problem statement better using an example so let's take this tree 1 2 3 four, 5 so we have this tree and in this tree we need to let's 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 process these queue queries we have first query as 4 and 5 i need to find the lc of this 4 and 5 so what is the definition of lc lowest common ancestor this is nothing but lowest node lowest node which is common to which is common to both a and b so here a and b are 4 and 5 and the lowest node which is common to both 4 and 5 is node number 3 so the answer is 3 for this test case and this is one of the simplest test case where both of the nodes are present at the same level so if this is at no level number 0 this is at level number 1 then this is at level number 2 so both of these nodes are at the same level so it was easy for us to calculate the ancestor so how we can do it how we can calculate the ancestor for these two nodes basically the idea is easy the since we are solving the second version of the previous problem the problem which we solved in the previous video the technique that we will be using is indeed binary uh, binary lifting okay and in this binary lifting we will start with the smallest jump of size 2 raised to the power 0 which is 1 then take the jump of 2 raised to the power 1 which is 2 and so on fine because both of these nodes are at the same level <laughs> so start making jumps that's the only thing we can think okay so let's let's start making jumps let's first make a jump of size 1 so from node number 4 move to up 4 0 so if you do not know what is this up 4 0 make sure to watch the previous video where i taught how to prepare this table thus this up table this is nothing but a binary lift binary lift table to jump from a certain node to any number of levels up let's say k levels so from node number 4 let's move one level up from node number 5 let's move one level up which is node number uh, up 5 0 and we can see that the parent of these two nodes which is this the direct parent is same it is node number 3 because this also stores 3 this also stores 3 so the answer for this test case will be 3 let's take another test case let's say we want to find the we want to find the 
let's take another test case a tree with more nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and let's say I want to calculate the LCA for node number 6 and node number 8 we can see the LCA is 8 uh, LCA is node number 1 because this is the lowest node which is common to both 6 and 8 so let's start or rather let's take this node let's take node number 4 and node number 8 because they are at the same level we are discussing we are thinking about the simplest test case when both of the nodes are at the same level we'll also learn to handle another case when both when both levels when th th when the two nodes are not at the same level okay so let's uh, let's start jumping from node number 4 and node number 8 so from node number 4 jump let's make the very first jump which is up 4 0 and from node number 8 let's make the sec the first jump which is node number 8 and 0 okay so from 4 uh, we'll reach node number 2 from 8 we'll reach node number 3 so now I am at node number 2 and node number 3 okay so now from node number 2 so I have made a jump of size 2 raised to the power 0 and now in the next iteration I will make a jump of size 2 raised to the power 1 so that will give me a jump of from node number 2 to up of 2 1 from node number 3 to up of node number 3 and 1 so from 2 to 2 levels up right 2 raised to the power 1, power 1 is 2 levels up so from 2 uh, we do not have any node 2 levels up so this will give me minus 1 we do not have any node 2 levels up from node number 3 so this will give me minus 1 so we'll have minus 1 for this we'll have minus 1 for this again the nodes are same but the nodes are invalid we do not have any such node fine so that means the direct parent of these nodes node number 2 and node number 3 is our answer that is up of 2 0 that is my answer that is 1 okay that's the idea I hope you got it let's find let's better understand it using one more test case let's take 6 and 7 let's start from 6 and 7 the very first jump will be to node number 4 and node number 5 the second jump will be of size 2 that is from 4 to 1 and then from 5, 5 to 1 and we'll reach the answer okay so take any two nodes and these are the two cases which you're gonna end up with either either you end up with a case like this when you have both nodes to be invalid or you end up with case like this when you have when you do find the valid lowest common ancestor okay so <laughs> That's how we will be solving this problem let's let's discuss the another case that's how we move from two nodes at the same level to the common node let's discuss the uh, let's discuss the case when we have when we have nodes at the different levels so let's take node number three and node number six so node number three is at a level one node number six is at level three now I want to reach the lowest common ancestor of this six and which is node number one how I will do it the idea is simple uh, what I'm gonna do is first of all I will lift the lower node to the level of node number three to the node which is at higher level how I can do that first find the difference between the levels let's call it D to do so pre-process a level array so from the level of node number six subtract the level of node number three and that will give me this D now I need to cover this distance D that is simple this reduces to the problem which we discussed in the previous video that is find the ancestor which is D levels up from node number 6 from this node and that can be done using binary lifting I need log of 2 jumps ok and I will reach this point ok now both of these nodes are at the same level and I can simply uh, use the technique which I explained before to jump to the lowest common ancestor okay now we may encounter a case when you have nodes like this when you have a direct parent 
like we want to find the LCA for node number six. This is node number six and node number two. That is when one of the nodes is actually the LCA. We can see that LCA of node number six and node number two is two. In that case, we just need to find the D and I just need to jump from the lower node to the upper node. Okay. So after I cover this depth, if I find that the node I end up with is same, this is that is the case when one of the nodes is actually the LC. Okay, so I also need to handle this edge case. So let's just jump to the code implementation part of this problem. Okay, this is how I solve this problem. Uh, here I am preparing the tree. And then here I am processing the Q queries. Each query of A and B. Each query consists of two numbers A and B. So LC of A and B. And now from this, uh, here in this LCA what I have is, I pass these two nodes. If the, if, if the level of any node is smaller than the level of another node, then swap the nodes and basically find the difference. Why I am finding the difference? Because I need the difference in the depth. Okay. <laughs> then, after that, cover the distance, cover the depth, and after that, if after covering the depth, nodes are same, then return one of the nodes. Otherwise, uh, start from node number, like start making the jumps of smallest size of two raised to the power zero till the highest size until the largest size jump until I find the direct parent to be the lowest common ancestor. And finally, I return as PTA0, which is my answer. So this code is same as in as explained in the previous video to calculate the level of each node and to prepare the up array. This is just a DFS and this is pre-processing. Okay. So let's that's all uh, we do to solve this problem company queries too and i hope you learned something new in this video try to solve this problem by yourself and uh, try to find some other algorithm to solve this problem of course there is uh, there's one more solution to this problem which i will probably discuss in the next video so you will you can try to solve this problem with some other technique try to think the problem in uh, in a different like try to approach the problem in a different way then thinking thinking uh, just using the algorithm explained in the series because that's how we develop unique way of thinking okay and uh, that's all for this video i will see you soon in my next video